Contact Center as a Service, that is CCAS, is a software deployment model that enables companies to only purchase the technology they need and is commonly operated by a vendor to reduce IT, integration and support costs. CCAS solutions are most commonly deployed as a cloud-based CX solution in contact centers, but in some instances, an on-premise CCAS software solution is more ideal. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. The Global Contact Center as a Service, that is CCAS market share, is expected to witness considerable growth owing to increase in demand for elevated customer feedback management, especially in North America, Asia-Pacific and Europe, due to the rise in demand for sophisticated cloud computing solutions such as Contact Center as a Service in these regions. Increase in demand for enhanced and seamless end-to-end -end customer experience and decline in operating cost due to adoption of CCAS have boosted the growth of the global contact center as a service market. As per a report, the global contact center as a service industry was pegged at $4.3 billion in 2021 and is expected to reach $19.8 billion by 2031, growing at a CAGR of 16.8% from 2022 to 2031. Major determinants of the market growth are increase in demand for enhanced and seamless end-to-end -end customer experience and decline in operating costs due to adoption of CCAS have boosted the growth of the global contact center as a service market. However, concerns regarding security, possibility of fraud cases and active with the contact center as service hinder the market growth. On the contrary, surge in need for application programming interface-based contact centers could open new opportunities in the future. COVID-19 pandemic boosted the demand for cutting-edge technologies such as cloud computing, customer relation management solutions and artificial intelligence. Businesses across the globe had to embrace such innovations to fulfill their needs for digitization. The healthcare segment is expected to showcase the highest CAGR through 2031. The report says the healthcare segment is projected to manifest the highest CAGR of 20.4% during the forecast period due to the use of automated machine technologies and adoption of telemedicine and e-prescriptions, computer telephony integration, customer collaboration, reporting and analytics. The major market players include Accenture LLP, Alphabet Inc, AWS, Cisco Systems, IBM Corporation, Microsoft Corporation and Oracle Corporation offering global contact center as a service that is CCAS market. These players have adopted various strategies such as expansion, new product launches, partnerships and others to increase their market penetration and strengthen their position in the industry. The report is helpful in determining the business performance, operating segments, product portfolio and developments by every market player. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Government releases revenue deficit grant to 14 states. The center has released the sixth installment of revenue deficit grant of Rs 7,183 crores to 14 states for the current fiscal. With this, the total amount of revenue deficit grants released to the state so far in 2022-23 has gone up to Rs 43,100.50 crores. The recommended grant is released by the Department of Expenditure to the recommended states in 12 equated monthly installments. The grants are released as per the recommendations of the successive finance commissions to meet the gap in revenue accounts of the states post-devolution. Wikipedia officials summoned over nuisance on cricketers' page. The Indian Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has summoned officials from Wikipedia for vandalism on the page of cricketer Arshdeep Singh without making the summons public. Since Pakistan's victory against India at the 2022 Asia Cup, the cricketers' Wikipedia page has been the subject of what is termed as persistent vandalism, with users either changing his team to Pakistan or claiming that he was part of a Khalistani team. The Wikipedia pages are written and edited by volunteers and even administrators are long-term volunteers who have built up some credibility with the community. SoftBank Vision Fund to invest $35 million in Go Mechanic. SoftBank Group is in talks to invest $35 million in Indian car service and repair firm Go Mechanic. Vision Fund's early stage talks with Go Mechanic are being held around a valuation of $600 to $700 million with Malaysian sovereign fund Khazana and existing investor Tiger Global also planning to invest in the $100 million funding round. 
Go Mechanic has serviced and repaired more than 2 million cars in India through its service centers and claims to cost 40% less than automakers' own offerings. SoftBank has been investing in Indian startups including digital payments firm Paytm and online education firm Unacademy. Reliance Industries Limited to acquire majority stake in SenseHawk Reliance Industries Limited has signed definitive agreements to acquire a majority stake in SenseHawk Inc. for a total transaction value of $32 million, including funding for future growth, the commercial rollout of products and R&D. SenseHawk, along with RIL's other investments in new energy, will be synergistic and create unique solutions with higher value to customers. The California-based SenseHawk is an early-stage developer of software-based management tools for the solar energy generation industry. It helps accelerate solar projects from planning to production by helping companies streamline processes and use automation. Apple to launch multiple AR VR headsets. Apple is reportedly working on three AR VR headsets and the first one could be called the Apple Reality Pro headset. It is said that there are a minimum of three Apple headsets actively in development with the code names N301, N602 and N421. Apple is rumored to bring the first reality headset next year with two displays, multiple cameras, two processors, Wi-Fi 6E connectivity, eye and face tracking features and more. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.